just like to quote it, uh, or note a couple quotations from Secretary Kerry's remarks earlier this week. Quote, I cannot emphasize too strongly the twin propositions that unity within Europe and the partnership between the United States and Europe remain absolutely indispensable to global security and prosperity. And he, he questioned whether there has been adequate defense um, of the institutional structure, uh, both within uh, Europe and uh, within the transatlantic uh, relationship. Kerry pleaded for more pushback. Quote, I have not heard a robust enough debate, frankly, here in Europe or elsewhere about the virtues that I have tried to lay out and about the importance uh, of our alliance and what the U European Union provides to Europe itself. Continuing, think of the wealth created in Europe. Think of how peacefully Europe has been able to live. Think of the advances in the quality of life in Europe. Think of what Europe has accomplished in these 70 years out of the ashes of war. It is one of the greatest stories in the history of humankind and needs to be treated with the kind of respect and sold that way. And I don't hear it being sold that way, said Secretary Kerry. And then in conclusion, the Europe-Atlantic partnership did not come together to coast along through the best of times. It was forged to address epic challenges like those we see today around the world. Now, as, as the uh, ambassador of the United States to Romania, my uh, focus of, of vision is a bit narrower. Um, but here, too, I would, in, in, to return to the themes that the Prime Minister raised, uh, the themes of resilience and resistance, uh, I would like to put forward to the panel um, an example um, um, where I believe the threat to the liberal order is being res uh, resisted and where there is resili resilience, and that is within the uh, U.S.-Romania relationship. Uh, just this uh, past week, actually the week uh, before last, I participated in an annual review uh, of the, the, the U.S.-Romania relationship that was held in Washington. And with all the due deference to former Stuart of the U.S.-Romania uh, relationship, including those in, in uh, the room today, it was a conclusion of both of our governments last week that today, in October of 2016, the U.S.-Romania relationship has never been stronger, never been stronger, nor has it made a more important or stronger contribution to transatlantic security and the transatlantic relationship as a whole. And why is that? I would argue it's primarily because of Romania's recent contribution to the, our bilateral relationship. And you can look at this along uh, just two or three dimensions. One, there is a security dimension. Romania is well on its way to meeting uh, the Wales Summit, NATO Wales Summit um, goal of uh, spending 2% of its GDP on, on its uh, national defense. Is making um, profound contributions uh, to uh, both transatlantic security but also security uh, here in the Black Sea region and importantly to uh, areas far from uh, Romania, including Afghanistan and including uh, the fight against uh, ISIL in Iraq. Also, as the Prime Minister discussed, in the area of energy security, Romania is now stepping forward uh, to make its appropriate contributions to. Uh, the energy security, not only of Romania, but of the European Union. Also in areas such as uh, cyber security, our law enforcement uh, agencies, those of the United States and, and Romania, have just tremendously um, positive uh, partnerships in the fight against uh, uh, terrorism, in the uh, uh, fight to counter proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, in the fight to uh, fight transnational organized crime uh, in the fight against uh, corruption. So in the area of security, uh, our bilateral partnership has never been uh, stronger nor more robust. Also, as the Prime Minister discussed, in, in the economic uh, dimension, 
And he was correct in saying that um, both he personally, but then also President Johannes, have made it clear to me that they, Romania uh, seeks more uh, from the United States in terms of its uh, economic relationship uh, with its transatlantic partner and, and has asked me to focus more energy in developing uh, the uh, uh, both bilateral trade relationship between our two countries as well as the investment relationship. And there's been success in this area. And it's primarily, again, uh, due to the contributions that uh, Romania has made recently, and particularly the steps made uh, by the uh, Cholos government uh, to improve its promotion of, of uh, investment and trade, uh, to improve the business climate in, in Romania, uh, to set out a, a national strategy finally for, for energy, for example, to reach out uh, to uh, key investors, um, uh, including major U.S. companies, um, uh, considering um, either a new or increased investment in, in Romania. And then finally, uh, a very important dimension is um, one that's, that embraces or that uh, encompasses the, the values that we share, the democratic values that we share, the respect of, of uh, minorities, uh, the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, the, and the, the full embrace of, of the democratic a future and a, um, an eagerness to strengthen democratic institutions, including a full defense of the rule of law. And, and frankly, ladies and gentlemen, it's, um, uh, as I've discussed many times before, it's Romania's recent um, uh, increasing credible fight against uh, corruption uh, that has uh, raised its uh, stature not only eyes in, uh, in the eyes of the United States, uh, as a full democratic partner of my country, but also is becoming an exemplar uh, for uh, this part of the world, for the, uh, this part of Europe, for this <coughs> part of the Southeast, the Eastern Europe. So in terms of promoting security, in terms of promoting prosperity, in terms of promoting democracy, it's for many its contributions uh, that have led to um, this moment in history uh, where our partnership has never been stronger. The challenge now is, as the United States um, enters um, or faces a, <clears throat> a critical election, and as Romania in December uh, faces a critical uh, election, uh, to emerge from those two political events in, in a way that the two countries can continue to strengthen their bonds and continue uh, to um, contribute uh, to stability and security in, in, in Europe, in the transatlantic trans area, but most um, importantly here in the Black Sea region. I think there's um, the new government um, that will take power in, the, in December, presumably, will have a, a very strong legacy upon which to build. Uh, but as the, the Prime Minister said, uh, further efforts to reform public administration in Romania will be very important. The continuance of the fight against corruption will be very important. Reform of uh, Romanian capital markets to uh, increase uh, both foreign and, and uh, domestic investment will be very important. And this is uh, work that jointly uh, I look very much forward to um, engaging in uh, come 2017. So with that, I would like to uh, pose a challenge to the, the panel um, to not only look at what threats uh, the liberal order here in Romania, here in Europe, in the transatlantic region space, but also those points of, of resilience, uh, those uh, points of resistance uh, to those uh, threats uh, of, uh, on the liberal order. Thank you for your patience.